When top Democratic strategists think of strongholds across the country, Louisiana and Kentucky aren't often the first states that they focus on. But when you look across the country, Democrats have picked up seats and governorships nearly everywhere. Entering 2017, Republicans controlled 34 of the governorships. Now, for January 2020, that number will be 26. Democrats have picked up seats in Illinois, Wisconsin, Michigan, Maine. The list goes on. And so while Republicans had a clean sweep in the down-ballot races, disapproval for Matt Bevin, who was the nation's least popular governor, according to a poll, led to Bevin's own attorney general, Andy Bashir, challenging him for the seat and eventually going on to win the race. We take a look at the map here. This is the difference between 2016 President Trump's re election, or election and 2019 in Bevin's up unseating. Pretty significant gains in the suburban areas. Four years ago, Be Bashir vote benefited from Republicans staying home and choosing not to vote while Bevin... Uh, choose not to support Bevin while down ballot Republicans still did well and picked up those seats. And in Louisiana, Democrats have a two term governor, and the Republicans no longer have a supermajority in the legislature to override his vetoes. Bell Edwards is notoriously pro life, yet his, he benefited from his popular decision to expand Medicaid in the Senate. If we take a look at the map here, again, Trump 2016 significantly better than. Bell Edwards ended up doing significantly better in the suburban areas around New Orleans and Baton Rouge. So while even in these deep red states that President Trump should win comfortably in 2020, Democrats have shown that their enthusiasm in, from the midterms isn't going anywhere, and the current suburban rejection of Republican top-of-the-ticket candidates has continued. So what may be a race that was decided by less than 100,000 votes in 2020 might be coming down to the wire again. Back to and, 